How's it going, everyone? My name is Reloading64, and welcome to Orchids to Dusk, a game I found on Itch.io, where it's apparently about a... You are an astronaut on a strange planet with only a couple of moments left to live. Click to start. It looked interesting, and I wanted to check it out. Finally, that kind of took forever. Look, walk, walk backwards, walk straight. Okay. That's a little weird. Ooh! I'm a Super Saiyan, apparently. Oh, that's my oxygen. Okay, so it basically looks right there. That's as much time as I have left on this planet. This looks pretty cool. Man, this, uh... This scenario would really suck in real life. I know right now we're not currently in, uh... The moment of being able to space travel to other planets because governments don't really fund it. I think... Hello. But yeah... But who knows, maybe one day in the future we would be able to just go across space from planet to planet. And my hope is that it one day it's commercialized where anyone can go in space. Anyone can go to Mars or Titan, the uh, Jupiter's moon Titan, things like that. Because I would be on that first shuttle out of this planet because I want to see space. What's that over there? We're gonna walk over there. I really wish that I could run. But... Yeah, in... In a real situation, obviously, where this d would happen to someone. They crash land on a planet, and there's... No one... No, no one near... Immediately near them... To go save them, or rescue. And it would suck because then this person would just be on this planet until literally their oxygen runs out. Unless the planet has oxygen, but I'm just using this as a scenario. I see that in the distance and I want to go towards it. That's why I'm not stopping. I'm going to probably have to redo it though because I don't think I'm going to make it. Yeah, I like the visuals. The art style is pretty cool. Hi. Okay, I think I might be able to make it to that mountain thing. I will say though that this game does really need to be optimized because wait is that it came over here for nothing oh uh, well but yeah for a game that's what these are footprints But yeah, it, it, it's a weird feeling that you would obviously get. What? Someone was crashed here before. What the hell? Huh. 
But yeah, it would be a weird feeling to know that you know exactly when your life will end. And obviously I've never been in that scenario, but to th if you think about it, everyone is... Death is the one great unifier because we all eventually have to go through it. Um, and some people are scared, some people aren't, some people accept it, some people decide, you know, they try to cheat death. And others just, ex like I said, accept it. But to be actually told, hey, in uh, exactly 30 seconds, you're gonna die. Oh, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Take off helmet. <sighs> Let's do it. I'm going to do it. This is cool. I love the art style, the music's awesome, and the... The whole concept of the game is just... Awesome. And then also this. Oh, I can't do it anymore! Oh man, I'm gonna have to do it again. I was supposed to... I was waiting for 5% to do it. Alright. We'll try this again. Let's try that again, but this time, we'll, uh, we'll take off the helmet. I'm gonna... Oh, I didn't know that happened. I don't think that happened last time. Yeah, let's just find a spot, because I don't think, as long as you go somewhere... I don't think it's gonna let me until it actually gets closer to it. So if we're gonna, if that's gonna happen, then let's go to this mountainous area. If anything, it just gives me more time to talk to you guys. But yeah, like I was saying, it would be an interesting idea. Well, not idea, but it would be an interesting thing to know exactly when you're going to die. Yeah, some people don't want to know, others do, because it's kind of one of those things where if you know when you're going to die, then uh, some people think that it takes all meaning out of life, because you know exactly when it's going to end. Someone died there. person there's two helmets off here we're gonna keep going though 
over here. But yeah. It's just... Some people think that it takes all meaning out of life and, you know, what's the point of living if I'm going to die in three days or something like that? And then others kind of take it and uh, kind of be destructive thinking, well, I'm going to be gone in three days, so why shouldn't I do all this crap that I didn't want to do? And I guess you could say it's the two extremes where some people just want to live, others just want it to be over with. But, I don't know. I, I, uh, I obviously would probably just try to do the things that I can, that I wanted to do, that I never have. Not, not because I'm afraid of doing it or because I haven't, haven't had time, it's just money. Um, I know I would eventually have to pay everything back, but the thing is... I... what's going on here? <laughs> Can I go up there? Damn it, I wanted to go up there! But yeah, some people can say, Oh, well, you can do all that now and you can just pay it back later. Yeah, but I still have to live with the consequences. Such as if I were to just max out my credit cards. Ugh. Oh cool, there is a way up here. I still have to pay it back. Compared to... You know, not to sound like... A mastermind of things like this. But if I... You know... If I'm about to... I think I like this part the best. Just kind of waiting. And it kind of shows you... You know, it's gonna end, so you might as well take it in with your last breath. And obviously there's that decision in the end where you can take off the helmet. And just end it right away, or you can wait until you have your last breath, having the, the will to keep going until you're, you're done. I don't know. I, re I really like this game. It's short, but I really like it. Did I make a little island and I glitched it out? But yeah. That was Orchids to Dusk. I think I kind of messed it up because it, it, it looks like you're supposed to go into a area where there's nothing, and then I guess you're the one that starts off this new life. Which makes sense, now that I think about it. Um, it's kind of a thing where you just... Well, you, it looks like you die and then you start off new life. And that's the cycle of life where even though you die, something else starts. Because even if you're dead, there's things still alive inside of you. There's things that grow out because of you kind of you just see it the whole cycle in life especially with animals where um if you ever watch any of those docu news not uh nature documentaries you'll see that even when an animal dies it still has purpose uh animals come to feed off of it uh it starts decomposing and it just starts uh molding and all that mold breaks it down and then it kind of turns it into um, nutrients for the ground and then things can grow from it if you have if you have never watched the nature documentary I suggest you do you learn a lot of cool shit but yeah I think I'm done with this game I really liked it
I'll leave a link down in the description down below so you guys can try it out. Maybe you guys can make your own little patch of life on this planet. Give someone else some hope. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, hack that like button while you're at it. Hack that subscribe button for more videos. Hit that bell while you're at it to be notified about future videos as well. Comment down below and let me know what you think about this game. Or about my thoughts or what do you think about the... Th uh, the message this game is trying to send. Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe you might know what it's trying to say. And just share it with friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.